In the previous checkpoint, you have learned how to calculate the RMS current in your sinusoidal AC. Now, in this checkpoint, we we'll apply this to the concept of power in your sinusoidal AC source, as covered in the earlier lessons. You learned that RMS I equals I0 over square root 2, and RMS V equals to V0 over square root 2. Because the average power is simply given by RMS I multiplied by RMS V, we can plug in the RMS I and V values, and you realize that this power is I0 V0 over 2, which is simply P0 over 2. Yes, the main power in a resistive load is half the maximum power of a sinusoidal AC. Notice that you can also use the equation for instantaneous power and equivalently take the time average of the instantaneous powers, and you obtain the same expression after simplifying the trigonometric expressions. Can you remember why this works? 